standing, slanting, and sleeping lines. Hey, Bittu. Why are you making lines again and again and erasing them? I am trying to draw a picture. Hey, to make a picture, you need to draw straight lines. And along with that, you also need to draw curved lines. Only then will your drawing look beautiful. Yes. So friends, in the previous video, we came to learn about straight lines and curved lines. In this video, we will learn about standing lines, slanting lines and sleeping lines in a very simple manner. It will be fun to learn about so many lines. Will you teach me? Yes. Look, first of all, let's practice making Standing lines from the top to the bottom of the page. Hey, by practicing to draw such standing lines, we can make straight lines without even using a scale. Now let us practice drawing standing lines starting from the bottom end of the page and move upwards. Okay, let me do it. Now let's practice making sleeping lines. Draw sleeping lines from the left side of the page to the right, one below the other. Like this. Okay, I'm making. Now we have to practice making the sleeping lines from the right side of the page to the left. So, we will start from the right side of the page and move towards the left. You are right. Bittu, keep this in mind that the standing and sleeping lines are called straight lines. Yes, I will remember that. Come on, now let's practice making slanting lines. We have to make lines from the bottom left part to the top right part like this one by one. See? Wow! This is so much fun! Now slanting lines are to be drawn from the top right side of the page towards the bottom like this. Just see? Now my lines are turning out perfectly fine. You are doing very well. Now the slanting lines have to start from the bottom right corner of the page. These lines are to be drawn from the right bottom to the top in this manner. See? Okay, I'll make it. Very good. Now slanting lines have to be drawn from the right side, top to bottom, just like this. See? Wow! Look at my slanting lines. Well done, Bittu. Now let us practice making curved lines. To practice, we have to start drawing Lines from the left side of the page to the right side of the page. This is the way to make curved lines. Hey, this looks like waves of the sea. Now you can easily draw pictures using straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines, and also with curved lines. Apart from drawing pictures, we can also use these lines to write ABCD. Yes, Bittu. It looks like the alphabets A, E, F, H, I, K, L, M, N, T, V, 
W, X, Y, and Z are made using standing, slanting, and sleeping lines. C, O, S, and U alphabets are made using curved lines. B, D, G, P, R, Q, and J are alphabets made using straight and curved lines. Rightly said, B2. Now you practice making straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, and sleeping lines, and curved lines. Now I must go. Yes. Okay. Bye. Children, today in this video, we practiced straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines. We also learned curved lines in this video. Now in the next video, we will practice making more interesting objects. Friends, today in this video, with the help of standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines, and curved lines, we will learn how to make rangoli and solve puzzles also. Hey, Pitu, will you help me to make rangoli? Yes, this rangoli is made of standing lines slanting lines, sleeping lines, and also curved lines. Rightly said, Bittu. First of all, I will make a big rectangle with two sleeping lines and two standing lines. Like this. In the middle of the rectangle, I will draw a sleeping line. Like this. Yes, now we have Two rectangles. Draw two standing lines in the above rectangle and make three such small squares. Now under these three squares, I will draw three triangles just like this. I will use slanting lines to make inverted triangles just like this. This has become a beautiful rangoli. To make it even more beautiful, in these empty squares, I will make three ovals using curved lines. I will make three smaller ovals inside these three ovals. Wow! This is very beautiful rangoli. This is how we fill colors in a rangoli. This is looking very beautiful. Yes, let's go inside the house. Yes, let's go. Come on, let's play a fun game. Okay, Tingu. See, I will arrange these matchsticks in standing and sleeping lines to make a puzzle. Hey, but this puzzle is wrong. If we subtract 3 from 8, then we get 5. This is the puzzle. You have to remove any one matchstick and place it again in such a way that it solves the puzzle. Okay. Hmm. If I lift this sleeping stick, in the middle of number 8 and place it above the symbol of subtraction like this, then the puzzle will be solved. Yes, adding 3 to a 0 will make 3 only. Well done. Look, now I will solve the same puzzle in a different way. How is that? 
if from the answer of the puzzle that is 3 i remove the standing matchstick and place it this side then also the puzzle will be solved oh wow if we subtract 3 from 8 then we get 5 pitu there is another way to solve this puzzle what's that look now out of the subtracted number 3 in this puzzle by removing the standing matchstick and placing it vertically here then 3 is converted to 5 and thus the puzzle will be solved. Oh yes, when we subtract 5 from 8 we get 3. This is fun. Let's play another game. I have made a dog using matchsticks. We made the dog's tummy using four sleeping sticks and two standing sticks. The dog's face is made using two slanting sticks. To make the dog's tail, one slanting stick has been used. Yes, and four standing sticks have made the four legs of the dog. Hey, to make the legs of the dog, the mad sticks are not standing but slanting. Hmm, I didn't understand. Bittu, even if the line is slightly oblique, it is called slanting. Yes, understood. But where is the game? Wait, I'll tell you. Which direction do you think the dog is going? It is going towards the left. Now you have to remove any stick and place it in such a way that the dog appears going towards the right. Oh, so this is the puzzle. Hmm. By lifting the match stick under the mouth of the dog and placing it in a slanting position near its tail will show the dog going towards the right. Well done. Tingu, now I will go. Children, hopefully through this video with the help of straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, slipping lines and with curved lines we learn to make rangoli and solve puzzles also. In the next video, we will learn about heavy and light things using a simple balance.